Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? Horcrux here and welcome back to the channel. So, we made a mistake. Your boy Horcrux, surprisingly, is human. Yes, I know, I make mistakes. So in my previous build, the Olo Weave build, I, uh, I made a big mistake. So we're still using the same sets, but in this video, I'm going to go over the updated version, which is even more devastating than the previous. I told you guys, if anything was changed, I was going to do an update video about it. So here it is, let's get into it. So before we hop into the bread and butter of today's video, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members who keep this channel afloat. The best way to support the channel is with a simple like and sub, but if you want to go a little bit further and become an absolute Chad, we also have YouTube memberships enabled, which give you access to custom emojis, access to private Discord channels, as well as shout outs in each and every single one of my videos. And we also have Patreon, which includes PvP coaching. So if you're feeling a little bit lost, a little bit stuck, all the links are down in the description below, and now let's get into the video. Okay, so first off, we are going to divide this video into two sections, what remains the same and what has changed. So if you have not seen the previous build video, I highly suggest doing so in the card in one of the corners. I don't know which way I'm pointing because I'm stupid, but I highly suggest watching that before watching this video. But if you don't wanna watch that video, you don't have the time, well, the Spark Note version of the video is we are running burning spell weave on the front bar we are going to run olo on the back bar with the restoration staff we're going to run a monster set magnet incarnate a one piece training heavy piece reinforced in addition to marking ring of majesty the armor weights are five one one you can run impen you can run well fitted it doesn't matter what traits you have on this it really doesn't depending on the back bar have a charge and nern hone on your front bar please be sure nern hone is your main hand and then charge is your off hand but if you think your sustain is perfectly fine swap the charge to to sharpen and there you go that's pretty much the build in a nutshell so what has changed what has changed is some of the abilities i'm going to give you guys two different variants of how to run this build both are equally good in my opinion i just got done competing in one of the very first tournaments um in this patch we got third place we was actually undefeated but it came down to a stalemate to whether um voted on who win or lost so congratulations to finesse on winning the tournament i believe duel over second and then myself as third so a really good duel is really good guys is really fun more of that going forward if you want to see that duel it is literally the last hour and a half of my previous vod which I will put in one of the fucking corners, I don't know. But um, go check that out. <laughs> go check it out on Vanessa's stream as well on Twitch. So what has changed? Now, I mistakenly told you guys to put spell damage enchantments on your jewelry. That is a big no-no. The reason being, I completely forgot about the DK having access to minor brutality. Minor brutality is going to also bolster your weapon damage. So on your DK, you want to push your weapon damage, not your spell damage as high as you can. So on the jewelry pieces, you'll want to run one infuse cost reduction. I'll explain that again when we go over the skills, which I have changed up a little bit, by the way. Right, marking ring of majesty again and then another brain spoil ring it doesn't matter how you offset these you can have olo jewelry you're gonna bring spoil jewelry it does not matter but please put weapon damage on this and also for your mundus this has changed as well is the warrior the race we are our breton is our english hard is a breton the foods we're using is bewood sugar skulls this has not changed whatsoever so stack weapon damage okay the reason you get access to my brutality is your passives, um, helping hands, or excuse me, uh, mountains blessing. So when you cast another hard ability, you and your group get minor brutality. So any of these will give you that uh, that buff. So you can cast fossilize, cast the eruption. We're able to actually get up to 8,100 weapon damage. There should be a screen floating up somewhere, or maybe even a thumbnail on how we actually get up to 8K when everything fully procs. Yes, you do. And the best offense is a good defense. The meta, this patch is push straight damage. And since everything scales off your highest stat, well, your healing is going to be insane as well. So that was the very first change I want to talk about. So now when it comes to these skills, well, we took off the, the weapon ability. Um, you can still run a dual wield or a two hander here or the execute. It's entirely up to you, but this is what's worked best for me. I've played nonstop for like the past two days really fine-tuning this build um, as much as possible and this is what i came up with so we're running this is the first build i want to break this apart in time sections as well the very first section is going to be the molten whip build so if you like molten whip over power lash this is what you want to run you want to run engulfing flames fossilized flames of oblivion this is our spammable it also gives us crit on the front bar molten whip and then burning embers with leap on the front bar back bar Please run Molten Armaments. I tried 
to use the Alliance Spell Drought um, Stamina Potions to give us our Major Brutality for our buff, but what happens is it does not give you the, the, the crit that you need and the sustain and it, it's just better to run heroism potions or run tri potions on your dk because when you're 1vxing you're going to have to really rely on your stamina pool so tripods or the very expensive uh, minor heroism potions which if you guys don't know the formula that said that i can leave it down in the description um uh, leave it in the comments i'll pin it something like that but back bar running molten armaments just to make sure we have major brutality at all times coagulating blood and rapid regen volatile armor and then also eruption this is the proc olo now um ideally if you are 1vxing you want this to be cinder storm okay cinder storm is going to give you an incredible heal over time it's pretty much free to cast because of our infused cost reduction glyph on our neck piece okay so hopefully this was like, like a nice cliff note version of what the like 30 minute build video was about also running corrosive on our back bar you know for for obvious reasons right um now if you want to run power lash okay so the only difference is if you want to run power lash you are going to drop flames of oblivion please replace this with talons okay so you're going to replace this with talons your whip is now going to be power lash okay and then in addition to that you want to swap off your Markian ring of majesty and swap it to malakanth if you can the reason you want to do this is because we are actually going to lose a crit on the front bar because we remove flames of oblivion now again you can run the green spell drop potions but you do not get spell crit you only get weapon crit and since none of this is weapon crit no physical damage no point in running that so that's why i'm running tri potions or the heroism potions that kind of act like a tri potion so this will be the second variant and then the first variant again is going to be flames of oblivion you're going to use that as your spammable and then of course once you build up your seething fury procs you go in for your um power or your molten whip and there you go that's your burst now when it comes to the cp everything's going to remain pretty much the same so i've opted to go into deadly aim master at arms you want to go ironclad duelist rebuff you could potentially drop duelist rebuff or ironclad and put it in fighting finesse to give you even more critical heals or even more critical damage that's entirely up to you the red tree i did not change whatsoever you can do fortified balanced vitality uh pain's refuge and then also relentlessness and the green tree really does not matter so this is the updated version now this is the open world build guy i took this into attorney literally go check out the vod it, it was pretty lit we, we had a lot of a lot of good laughs a lot of good fun a lot of good people in the attorney i didn't die didn't even come close to dying i pretty much outmatched outclassed everyone we was up against yeah we did get outvoted i mean this build works so well that you could tank an astro this is what i did so i was up against the sork i tanked the astro okay and i also didn't use wings and i just couldn't die and you're pressure that you put out is absolutely insane so um really great really fun build i don't know if it can get better i i, I don't want to be that guy to say hey this is the best build but especially if you are in a group this is like the best dk build you could possibly run because magna incarnate's gonna buff your teammates your olo is gonna buff your teammates so you really have a lot of synergi synergi synergization or synergizing you know with your team as well especially if you run with a magplar oh god you're just you're just going to completely shred kids so um that is the updated uh, version um one more thing um i did kind of change my attribute points a little bit i think in the previous video it was like 44 20 something like that um i did lower my uh, health pool down to 29k instead of like 30.5 and then i pushed a little bit more max and magic to get up to 30k you can play around with this um, depending on uh, your survivability but yes we get all the way up to over 8k weapon damage and you hit like a fucking freight train no, you really do i love this build i'm not going to change it this is the be all end all dk builds now i do have my own personal build involves iron blood at some point i will release that build as well and it's equally as nasty you can face tank a lot more people than you can on this build you do have to play a little bit smarter right um because you don't really have mitigations that iron blood uh, provides you but this has been the updated build video guys for the olo weave magic of dragonite pvp build for the ascending tides dlc 
Guys, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps me out, it really helps the channel. Just, just go down about two inches below your screen. It's red, make it gray. You will make my day. Yeah, yeah, I thought of that all myself, and I'm, I know, Pat's on back, right? But uh, for real, guys, um, a huge and glorious shout-out to my patrons and also my community members, and a special shout-out to James C., who donated literally over 500 fucking dollars in the past two days on my streams, man. Thank you so fucking much. You deserve a shout-out. You actually deserve a lot more. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Like, kudos to you, man. Like, I really appreciate each and every single one of you. So, with all that being said, this has been Horcrux. I hope you guys have a great rest of... Ugh, fucked up the intro. Ugh, this has been Horcrux. Haha, <laughs> got it right this time. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.